Our next contest is between boxers from India and the Russian Boxing Federation. Our judges scoring this one come from Korea, Slovakia, Uzbekistan, Egypt and Poland. So Nishant Dev approaching the red corner ahead of this light middleweight quarterfinal. His opponent, Vadim Musayev of the Russian Boxing Federation. He's boxing out of the blue corner. So Rodrigo Garcia Geron of Guatemala is our referee. And this contest at the quarterfinal stage of the 71 kilogram light middleweight tournament is underway. It's between fellow Southpaws from India and the Russian Boxing Federation. Similar in height, but totally different in stature. And the man in red who has just scored with a good right jab to both head and body is Nishant Dev, just 20 years of age the reigning Indian national champion, competing in his first senior world boxing championships, as is his 28-year-old opponent from the Russian Boxing Federation, Vadim Musayev. He too claimed his first national title earlier this year. Fourth bout of the tournament for Nishant Dev, whereas Musayev received a bye in the first preliminary round in the first round, he scored a knockout. His first contest in the round of 32, he scored a knockout in 29 seconds and Southpaw lefts straight around the rear of Musayev's head, making those rabbit punches from, Musa, from Nishant Dev. And that is what both the man in blue and the referee are pointing out in the direction of the Indian boxer. So Nishant Dev, keeping his composure, he possesses terrific reflexes, was picked off by a southpaw right there after he fell short. But look at the confidence from young Nishant Dev. Even though the both men are a similar height, given the... ...gap in age. Hesitant to say that it's man against boy, but the two men do look as though they belong to different weight classes, even though they are similar in height. Musayev, mature, developed athlete physically. You get the impression that Nishant Dev has more filling out to do. Who knows what weight he will end up at as he continues to, no doubt, mature and develop physically. And of course, with the aid of training, could end up as a middleweight or indeed a light heavyweight as Musayev comes forward. Tucking up cleverly in a shell is Nishant Dev, keeping his composure. Making the man fall short once again was Nishant Dev, but he couldn't make him pay. Musayev not really finding the range with that vaunted backhand. Firing it in with bad intentions, but he's been rather inaccurate. So again, inaccurate work from both men to conclude that opening round. Nishant Dev setting his stall out in confident fashion. Targeting his man with jabs. Musayev had his moments as well.
and it's a 4-1 split in favour of Mosayev with three minutes. As we move into the second round, Nishant Dev looking to score with that long straight right jab to the body. Looping roundhouse left is a rabbit punch once again from Nishant Dev, but no intervention from the referee or complaints from Musayev. Good movement around the perimeter of the boxing ring in a counterclockwise direction from the Indian boxer. One of five quarter finalists from the 13 men they sent as entrants to Belgrade 2021. Russia sent the same number of entrants and have got eight men in the quarterfinals. And again, no real accuracy behind that big backhand that Musayev possesses. Maybe did score with a straight left to the body, but Nishant Dev, can he utilize his terrific speed as he extends the right jab to the body of his opponent? There he's driven back by reverse one, two. The right hand did catch him. And again, all of these valuable learning experiences and against a man eight years older than he, and a fellow national champion. Nishant Dev has produced some quality performances in his three contests so far, answering so many questions. His nose has been giving him problems in the sense that it's been damaged in his two preceding contests. But against Mervyn Clare, the Tokyo Olympic Games quarter-finalist in the round of 32, when he demonstrated real resilience and fighting spirit and heart and all of the other intangibles that you really cannot teach. To some extent, they are innate because he was really distressed by the difficulty that he had breathing, but he kept his focus and remained on task to box his way through to a 4-1 split decision verdict over Mervyn Clare, reaching with that overhand left. He's got to take his feet with him if he's going to launch that shot, Nissan Dev. A little closer on that occasion, but Musayev, his presence, his experience, even though it's the first world championships for both of them, he's got a deeper, he's got a greater depth of experience, and there's a roundhouse left which lands from Musayev, and then a right hand, and Nishant Dev, though, willing to engage in trade-offs with the bigger puncher, and roughing him up on the inside, hitting him from behind. So once again, Nishant Dev demonstrating his competitive spirit that burns brightly, Good right hand to the body from Nishant Dev. A legal tactic employed by Musayev. Remember Musayev taking the first round on a 4-1 split, but again, you have to credit as Nishant Dev gets through with a right hook. Terrific fight back from the man in red. My goodness, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a knockout artist, with a knockout artist, and showing that he won't be bowed. This young man is one tough hombre. And Musayev knows that he's in a fight here against his fellow national champion, but crucially, despite this spirited fight back, Musayev has taken it on three of the five cards and Vince, one more judge. Depending on the distribution of scores, it would have been an entirely different third and final round about to unfold. But given what has taken place and the fact that Musayev edging it 3-2, he's got a 20 points to 18 lead for a majority of the judges. And so Nishant Dev is going to have to produce a massive final round. And the simplest way to do that is to take your man out of there, ensure that he doesn't hear the final belt, that he doesn't make the final belt. Can Nishant Dev produce that type of display against... Musayev of the Russian Boxing Federation. It's a jolting right jab lands from the Indian boxer. Same shot once again. And it's not been an easy night this for Musayev, despite his advantageous position on the scorecards, because Dev is so speedy and so long as a 71 kilogram light middleweight, and he turns the qualities that he has into strong assets. And Musayev again, short of the mark with his double jab, left cross. <laughs> oh, 
Musayev coming forwards. He's got a vocal core of support in attendance here at the Stark Arena. But he hasn't really found the range with any consistency. He's just done a little bit more than Nishant Dev in the two completed rounds, particularly in the second round, when Nishant Dev elected to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Musayev. In a shootout at centre ring. So comparatively low punch output here in the third and final round. I'm not sure whether Nishant Dev well, it appears as though but he's putting his store into a single knockout shot, but that's the only way he can turn it, overturn the deficit now. And with Musayev going backwards, it's going to be very difficult indeed to take the man out with a single shot. So the clock continues to tick then. Nishant Dev just creeping forwards. You see him lining up the big backhand. He came back with a right hook, but neither shot found the mark, nor did the attempted punches from Musayev whose left hand has been launched repeatedly but he hasn't really been very accurate with it during the course of this quarter final but he has been accurate enough that he is going to be going through to the semi-final stage for my money but Nishant Dev what a tournament this young man has had prevailing on a unanimous point decision win over Hungary's multiple national champion Laszlo Kozak in the round of 64 then that aforementioned gut check victory over Mervyn, decision winner over Marco Verdi of Mexico. We produced another terrific. And here is confirmation of a split decision victory for Vadi Musayev, the man from Dagestan eliminating his fellow reigning national champion with a 4-1 split decision victory. And he goes through to the semi-finals of the light middleweight division, applauding himself and indeed his coaching team.